Yo, before we're gonna start the video, I made a major mistake in the video. You see those two code hearts right there. In my case, I will give you the link in the description in, for this right here. But the code heart right here has one star and the other code heart does have five star. I do have those two code hearts, but in my in my video in game, I have them switched around. That's why my runs actually are failing more than they should be. It's not because the speed calculator did anything wrong. It was me. I made a major mistake and I want to clear it out before we're going to start the video. So on the end, everything is still the same. You can reach stage 25 even easier if you just switch the speed of those two code hearts and those stars a little bit around. So let's go into the video. Yo, what's up guys? Um, today I'm going to show you a really crazy team where you can use on Phantom Shagoon from stage 19 all the way to stage 25. 24 is a little bit janky and 20 is a little bit janky too, but you can just um, do it one time and never do it again. So if you got to do it three or four times to actually beat it, it's not so hard. I'm going to show you the, the team. You can use different DPSs in here that would be okay. But keep in mind the boss will change affinity every stage and so on just use cold hearts and you cannot use any other dps's and take it really slow or something because the calculation what i did was with the new future from the speed calculator we can just see how many max hp hits you're gonna do and if you put 10 max max hp hits for yeah like your conditions and you see actually ah uh, the boss is gonna die in that turn so don't calculate any further so I use two code hearts, I can use them all stages. I use a painkeeper, I use a null horn because the null horn and emic unkillable taunt mechanic is super great and your null horn does not actually use weak hits, so that's actually it. I'm gonna show you the preset. And yeah, it's not too hard. Keep in mind every champion needs to be booked, maybe not the code hearts. If you have so, I don't even care, but everything on your painkeeper and everything on Emic and Nalhorn needs to be booked. Okay, the A2, you, you, you don't have to, but that one is really important. So let's check out the presets right here. And it's also the 271 Emic. That's like really nice. <laughs> one Cold Heart, another Nalhorn, another Cold Heart, and a Painkeeper. Those are the stats and presets. And also keep in mind, we're gonna do stage 19 now. Keep in mind that you actually have to go on the exact right speeds because we are going from stage to stage. So these speeds right here need to be fixed and to make it even more clear, speed sets and perception sets shouldn't be used right now because it could flip one of those stages in a bad way and you might get stuck. Maybe I'm not saying it the right way. Maybe you can use speed sets, but then you got to check out the speed calculator for yourself because I didn't. And I, I would be not a good man if I tell you like speed sets are all okay. And then you build it and it doesn't work for you. So you got to check it out. If you can't just go without speed sets, I know it's harder, but then you're just safer. On stage 20, we got something weird happening. But that's okay, we, we still can pass it. And all this right here was made with the speed calculator with the new function. Where you can actually use your condition on different stages. Like you, you want to build a 25, no, no let me say it like that. You want to build a 19 stage. But you can also check, hey, can I also make a team that also works on 20, 21, 22, 23. And then the speed calculator actually shows you like, hey, all those speeds are fitting for all the, these stages. And you can just build one team, clear the tower, just go up the stages and you clear it. And on the end, you got something like that. But keep in mind, yeah, stage 20 and 24 were like a little bit off. I'm already talking with Yannick why it's happening and stuff. So I can, if I, if I know what's happening, I will put it in the description and so... I will keep you up and you know everything why that's happening and maybe I already found a solution for you and everything is okay. And stage 20, I'm gonna show you one time what could happen and if that doesn't happen for you that's awesome because then you just clear it out but if it's gonna happen that's 
like really bad for you. You see the numbers of the skills up there of the boss. If that reaches a one, right now we, we stop the auto. We do our painkeeper auto function again. We will use our Nullhorn. He's gonna go. And for some reason, it could be possible that your emic goes before the boss and then you would do one A1 and then go auto again. But in our case, it didn't happen. So I don't have to press the A1 and we will just continue. And that's basically what you do every turn. I'm gonna show it like I would do it. So I can easily pass this one. Maybe it's gonna happen. Maybe it's not gonna happen, but yeah, you, you will see, you will check. So it's a one again. I will just check. Code Hot can do whatever she want. Painkeeper can do what she want. Nullhorn goes in, and now we gotta take a take a look. Ah, is uh, uh, oh, Emic is going before. That's actually nice. So we can just do our A1 and go full auto again. And now we are in tune again, and everything should be okay. And we can just pass this one time. Of course, it's kind of a little bit manual, but who cares for one turn? So I actually include it. Like the speed calculator said that it's full auto. Maybe I did something wrong. It was like a human mistake. Maybe something is kind of a little bit weird in the calculator right now, but we will figure it out. And in the description, I will just tell you whatever. And later on, we will check in the calculator what's going on. I will just, just show you, you know. But first of all, we, I gotta show you that the stages are really nice and we can do what we wanna do. <laughs> it's amazing. Stage 19 to 25. I didn't even know that's gonna... Maybe there's uh, another comp that can go from stage 18, 17 or something. But I don't think so because the, the speed ranges of the boss are really different from stage to stage. So on the end, it's... I think it's a little bit too much to calculate, you know. So, stage 20, perfectly done. And it was actually nice that there's... That weird thing happened and everything is okay because I was able to show you. That's even nicer to just tell you what to do because that can happen and it's an easy solution. You press one thing and you're all good. But you gotta do it every rotation when that is on a one again and everything is good. So, stage 21 or 22? I don't even know anymore. But we will see on the end that everything is okay. And it's really nice. Stage 24 is a little bit complicated. Sometimes there's something weird happening. I don't know what exactly is going wrong, but we will, we will take a look at it. But it is still possible to do the stage on full auto. You just gotta do it a couple times. And if you've done it, then you're, you're good. And also, um, I didn't mention it like earlier. My cold hearts are a little bit too untanky that means they like a little bit too squishy and they could be the target of the boss because the the boss sometimes ignores all the mechanics of him and he will just ignore uh, the, the mechanics and will attack a champion that looks like a one shot like if you have a champion that looks like a one shot he will attack it and my cold hearts they do look like a cold hearts uh, uh, easy snack sometimes yes stage it's not the quickest in the world but on the top you can use other dps's and make it faster and stuff but at this point we just want to clear it out reach stage 25 and have a team that actually works already on the stage not yeah you gotta build something else again and stuff and yeah 271 emic is actually a nice like a point of start because you can use them in other areas. I made a whole video where you can use them in all other areas in the game. And he's amazing. And he's 271 speed. So you, you should check it out. Maybe you, on the end, you can use them somewhere else. And I use personally on 25 a ninja. And my run is like a, a minute and seven or something. If, if everything goes good no resistance on HP if it goes wrong maybe in one minute and 20 something or so and on the end you can just change your DPS but the cold hearts are the best for climbing the tower because of affinity so the thing for 24 is I don't have an easy solution for you that's I thought about it but couldn't figure out 
easy way out and you gotta just do it like maybe you're unlucky and you gotta do it six times or so then i'm really sorry but to do it once and then you have a farm team ready for stage 25 i think it's still amazing and you can use it all day when you just did it and yeah artifact sets and stuff i will show you later because that's always on the end because if you're interested in it you will just watch and if you're not you will click out that's okay but i don't want to do it on the beginning because it's kind of boring sometimes if you don't want to yeah build the team and stuff you just want to see what they look like what they what are they doing and stuff so stage 22 i think it's almost done like two hits of the cold hearts and it should be okay I think one of my cold hearts doesn't actually hit max HP cap, but it's really close and it's all good on the end, so I, I don't mind. If you want to do it, just go ahead and hit the max HP cap, but you should be really close on it. This is not a, not a comp that goes forever. Really not. That is actually um, calculated by max HP hits with the new future uh, feature from the speed calculator and you can't do it forever on the end at some point you're out of the game if you just use I don't know some rare champions that just do a single target attack without war master and you want to do it for 25 minutes or so it wouldn't work flat out don't even try I'm sorry but don't try you gotta use code hearts your <laughs> Yeah, it's basically cold hearts. You can change to your husk and your royal guard from stage to stage and it is a you can actually do it go ahead if you have to, if you don't have two cold hearts, but your husk and your royal guards can be used from stage to stage. Alright, do whatever you wanna do, but cold hearts are the best. <laughs> the rare champion is the best. <laughs> it's kind of weird to say. Really. <laughs> Yeah, stage 23 should be no problem, but on stage 24 we might get past it on the first try, we might not, but you see what I mean, and I actually will maybe not do it right here, but I will put a video clip in it where I did it because, yeah, I don't want to waste maybe like 100 energy or so, but I told you, <laughs> and that's the only commitment you gotta do, like, spend a little bit more energy on the last stage you actually gotta beat and you should be okay maybe you do a little bit manual and you find a quick solution for yourself and just go ahead write it in this uh, in the comments and let us know and we all have a great day <laughs> so uh, stage 23 and uh, three yeah uh, one more max hp hit and a little bit of giant slay or something and we got it done it's always like two minutes it's okay other people they do have teams they are slower than that so i really don't mind <laughs> so let's do the one the last hit yes cold heart go in but <laughs> so nice so stage 24 we gotta be a little bit lucky here i don't know exactly what's going on like i lose my my null horn is in a danger of dying because he does not have unkillable all the time when he actually get like hit and it shouldn't be i checked the calculator and the stage is kind of yeah i i don't know what maybe i did something wrong in this case my code out got attacked right there and if she dies then we're out of the game too because it's all speed calculated and they will kill my other code hearts but I told you, my cold hearts are not tanky enough, so you gotta build your cold hearts tanky, your DPS tanky enough, so they are not actually a nice looking one shot for the boss. She got attacked twice, but Emic's shield actually saved us. It's another thing that is comes in place really good, but it's not for sure. But I got lucky a little bit right here. My Nalhorn does have Uncurbel right now. I lose... What, what's going to be bad in this run right here is um, my Nalhorn 
can lose the unkillable at some point when he's gonna be attacked. Of course, my cold hearts can die and then it's all over. But we're gonna see. Yeah, he kind of died. He had shield, but it didn't go too well. But if you out shield it and stuff, you can still do it. At this point, it's still gonna be possible for somehow that's gonna work. I saw it, I did it a couple times. If that wouldn't be a, a win, sometimes I wouldn't even show you. Like, if you do it five times and you can do it, I, I think it's still okay. I really think it's still okay, you can do it. I will show you now a video clip where I did it with the same team, everything, same presets. I just kept doing it for four times or so. Yeah, and like you saw, 24 is doable, but not all the time. Now we're gonna go in 25, and I'm gonna show you that it's actually working. But my code heart could be attacked right here. I should build him a little bit more tanky, but I didn't want to spend any more silver and to just show you that it's gonna work. In my case, not all the time, but also it's a good thing. So you know, hey, I gotta build my... Um, Cold Hearts tanky or whoever you use as DPS or your run is gonna fail, maybe. You can out shield it, but not all the time. So you better build your, your you know what I mean. Yeah, you can actually know what I mean. So um, stage 25 is actually calculated and it works all the time if they don't, if he don't attack my Cold Hearts, that's it. And I think you probably saw that team plenty of times we just made it work big thank you to Yannick that he made a new feature on the speed calculator so I can actually show you what to do if you don't have 25 reached already <laughs> oh wait what happened <laughs> wait <laughs> was my code heart attack I don't even know <laughs> let's do it again I, I gotta show you at some point, yeah, <laughs> something goes all the time wrong. But I think my code heart got attacked and then I got the big, big damage or something. At 25, I did it plenty of times, so <laughs> I'm so sure. But I got a little bit surprised that it's, it was failing right now. But yeah, it was probably the cold heart, so I told you already why I'm surprised, you know. <laughs> ah. So the video is about two minutes long, I'm sorry, but it's just how it is. Afterwards, we're gonna show, um, we take a look at the gear sets and stats and stuff. Also, we take a look in the speed calculator, how you're gonna do the, the couple of stages, search function, and we just check out the calculator a little bit more about the max HP hit thingy so you can just calculate until the boss is dead by HP hits and that makes it a, a bunch a ton better because for for example Fire Knight is even better because you don't have to do more calculation that's actually needed than just yeah if the boss is dead the boss is dead <laughs> so please this time no cold hearts gonna die Please, maybe it was my cane, my painkeeper. My painkeeper isn't too good too, but I'm not too serious about this team right here because I actually do run another team, but I wanted to show you what you can do with a team like that, climbing the tower, being on 25 and just farm your thing if you are tanky enough. And of course, your Nalhorn needs to take the first hit and needs to have the most crit damage and if he dies, then on the first hit, you should be more tanky and rules like that are all the time there. But that's basic knowledge about this team, uh, about the dungeon right now. So one more hit. Yes. 
now yeah hey we did it <laughs> <laughs> yes nice um yeah i do like it really much because uh, plenty of people ask me like hey can you build like a team which goes like from there and there and it's actually nice that i can use the same concept that we actually that we already use in our stage 25 team just do the speeds a little bit different and you can go from 19 to 25 that's just amazing so um let's check out the champions and the speeds need to be fixed i don't have any speed set in here i have region set on emic i already saw that it's possible to do it without region set but just to be safe and if you climb the tower if you have a weak source region set is still better than having a non uh, region set you will take a hit but you will recover like I think three or four turns before the boss is gonna attack you again so getting a little bit HP back who doesn't like that, you know? Of course, everyone here is fully booked. The main skills, for example, the, the Nullhorn skill could be skipped. That's the masteries. I don't actually run something in here, so you can make him a little bit more tanky, no problem. So let's check out the real stats. What about them? So we got like 77k HP. 3800 defense and 271 speed that's all you need on him the other things don't matter too much first cold heart keep in mind no speed set that could throw off the set but maybe not if you want to know it you gotta check out the speed calculator for yourself and you might can use speed sets and perception sets and stuff like that no problem but i don't want to just tell you like you can do it but you simply can't because I haven't checked it so stats you gotta be a little bit more HP focused and a little bit more defense focused than I am so I'm 28k HP to 1900 defense and 175 speed the speeds are fixed I haven't found another team that actually has the, the, um, the speeds so even one speed lower on my cold heart and the, the team didn't work anymore on all stages of course at some stages it still works but if you go from 19 to 25 one speed could change everything so the speeds are kind of fixed masteries and stuff yeah of course avoid everything that just yeah gives you turn meter gives you speed or something like that so um, our nun horn is in 73,000 HP, 2.8k defense, 159 speed, and the rest doesn't matter. Of course, uh oh no 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 no. Sorry, one thing does matter, and it is his crit damage. He needs to have the most crit damage in your team, or he won't be the the target for your team. So everything would be wrong at this point. And Masteries, I did give him a crit damage thingy here and avoided everything that gives me turn meter. You could skip that book right here, that shouldn't be a problem at all, but you want that fully skip that book. Painkeeper needs to be fully fully booked, everything is even that one is needed. And Masteries, I just gave him raw master, a little bit more like HP or something like there. And is that i think he is never my target so the stats he has could be like the threshold or something but i might be wrong a little bit 41k hp 1500 defense 260 speed and the rest does not matter on him and yeah another code what are the stats yeah, 30 D, uh, yeah, 33 K HP and 1800 defense, 186 um, speed. <laughs> of course, like maybe I said on the other code that the rest doesn't matter, but yeah, you want your crit rate and your crit damage high enough so you can um, hit the max HP, hit cap, and you do your 10% hit. 
But yeah, to be honest, I, I think you already know when you see a code hub that you should use her in a crit rate and something. But if you don't know it, now you know. And of course you want her to be booked. Masteries, I don't even have something on her. And yeah, now we will take a look in the speed calculator, like how we did it and stuff. So see you in a second. So I had a great talk with Yannick and he, he showed me why my team is not as great as it should be because first of all like in the beginning on the video I told you those two cold hearts are not in my game those cold hearts are flipped and my percentage on all stages are not actually a hundred percent it can fail because I do not have enough stars right now to make it a hundred percent but like you saw you can clear it for once and then go ahead and do the next stage but if you want to be like a hundred percent your pain keeper needs to be on a three star and your second cold heart needs to be on a two star then every stage is just full auto and everything is super nice like you see right here i'm gonna flip stages now we go from 19 to 20 to 20 basically every every single one of them will be end here because the cold heart is the last champion and it is a great thing i want to show you because right now we got a great new function in here where we can where is it actually where is it here right here check for make max hp hits that will allow your calculator to um do calculations until the spot is reached in our case it's 10 you can probably do nine and everything is okay and also your g nuts and your acrisias and stuff they will be counted as two max hp hits so everything is okay if you put a loot in here or something you can just calculate until the boss is dead and it is great for example for fire knight and also we got a great new feature i, I like it and that's why actually this team was able to do because we can now check for multiple stages for the same conditions and that's how i actually found the team and yannick made it a little bit better and on the end i will give you that code right here because that is 100 percent but you can actually reach stage 25 with the same team I showed you in the team with the same stars. It's just a little bit more janky, but on the end you reach your 25 and maybe if your 25 doesn't work like 100%, 98% on the end you can change one cold heart or, or, or one pain keeper, the speed's a little bit around and it will be 100% because right now the aim was just to get from stage 19 to 25 and with this code right here it will be absolutely better and you just go in here and put it in there press import that's how he actually gave me the code and you can actually check everything for yourself you can increase your stars and stuff on other champions and you can see the outcome still does it work if i have a six star not horn because i was lucky but i do just have a two star um cold heart right there and maybe it's still gonna work on the end maybe not you can check it out for yourself so keep downloading the program it's the best thing ever and we will make more videos like that maybe my next aim is to do sand devil i'm gonna look if i find find something that goes from stage something to stage 25 and keep an eye out for that there was everything in the video and i hope i see you in the next one and yeah have a nice day